Hey love bugs, it's Ross, I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed, I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for the beautiful vibes that you send me every day. You're dropping lines, you know, you don't have to open up, you know, you know, you really don't have to open up, but you choose to anyway, and it's just, it's a beautiful feeling, just to know that I'm able to help, and you're just gradually growing, and we're, you're gradually knowing more and more about yourself, and to this person that you never even thought of imagining yourself being, and it's, you know, it's so good to be actually feeling like we're putting on a new suit of life. <laughs> it really feels that way, feeling like, you know, we got a new suit of life. So it's a good feeling that we all can experience this all at one time. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you... Are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me or even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just opening up telling me about your you know empathic gift and how it impacts your life and sent you towards a positive direction and if you feel like the video is just getting good vibes you're like shoot I need to go share this with one of my friends please go ahead and do so and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like it even share on your social media favorites and I hope you're able to enjoy the video and get something out of it. And thank you so much for the support. And thank you. <laughs> but anyways, my music that I'm listening to today, I've been picking some really good meditations lately. And this one's called 441 Hertz Detox and Cleanse Aura. Remove negative toxins, negative blocks, and spiritual detoxification. I will post that link in the description box below. It's like really beautiful. It's hearing all those different beats and stuff to it. But today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, are you that anchor? Yes, I was... Like, I've been telling you, I've been watching, like, Vampire Diaries and stuff. I've been, like, binge-watching that for the last few days. It's just, you know, I miss coming on to different people's channels and supporting. But it's just, like, I, you know, if I have not been to your channel yet, please forgive me. It's just the fact is, you know, doing these videos and going through your own personal life and then, like, working outside of doing this, it takes a lot out of you. So, it's just, like, I have to step away from YouTube for a while, step away from Facebook for a while. I don't even barely get on there anymore. You know, I just post a few things and just go off. But, you know, I've been watching watching this again. Like, this is not my first time watching the whole season until I caught up with it. But it's been a couple of years since I've watched it. So, I had the actual chance to be catching up on everything. But I started noticing that this time when I'm watching it, it's just a whole new different feeling. And like I told you before, if you're, you're a type of person, if you're like a book reader you'll notice that you know the books that you'll start reading maybe start relating to your life in a certain way like you know it might not be the exact same thing that you might be going through but it could be something that's leading towards like dang you know this book is just like you know somewhat like my life that you know they're showing you different things that you need to know or showing somebody else it's like you're somebody else is mir mirroring their, your experience and so th this show is just I love the show there's just like I love to hate some of the characters and then I love to love some of them and it's just it gets me very emotional on certain parts because I can relate to so many things and with there was a part with uh, Bonnie where she had passed away and they were trying to get her back and the only way she can do that it was just like certain things she, she had to go through and certain people they had to knock off before they can bring her back from you know the other side to the spiritual realm, spirit, spiritual realm um, so it was just like really crazy. So when they finally got her back, she was the anchor for, you know, the spirit world is right, you know, the regular world as well. So it's just like, you know, I kept on hearing that all today and, you know, in the back of my brain, you know, anchor, anchor. And I'm just like, okay, there we go again with these, you know, these, these words that you're coming up with and just going diving deep and just you know, trying to figure out what they're talking about, and it's just like, I'm an anchor, like, we're on a big, em empathic, Hayoka ship, and I'm that, gang you know, that, that big, giant anchor that guides us towards that strength, 
through that support that we all have. And it was just like, I, I can totally relate to that because she's guiding people, even though it puts her in so much pain, she knows that she had to do this for the world. And, you know, on top of her being a witch and everything and, you know, her, you know, losing, well, and basically separating from her mom at a very young age. So I can really relate to her character. And so it was going through all that stuff, you know, I realized everything that I was going through that, you know, the mishaps and just the whole experience, all the things that I went through had to serve a purpose to be that anchor towards people that are going through the spiritual awakening. You know, you're going through things and you can be an anchor for others as well. You know, you're you're realizing your gifts. You have this thing to where you can be able to shed light on others when they don't know what they're going through. You can be that anchor where you show support towards different empaths that are, you know, just lost along their way and trying to find their path. Or you're just helping out the underdog or just helping out somebody just to be helping somebody out. There is always a good blessing when you can actually be an anchor for someone and be able to give them that support and that strength and you know or just help them acknowledge that they have that strength to themselves that you have you can be that you know that reminder like i tell y'all all the time we can we can do anything that our minds you know will reach out to the fur furthest thing if we can get past the limited beliefs we're able to do things that we weren't even we'll probably be surprised that we were able to succeed for you know succeed in and it's just a beautiful thing when you can be that anchor for someone. And, you know, I love being that anchor. Be able to find out more things. And it's just like shedding things on light. You know, not all of it's pretty. Not everything I have to say is going to be always positive. But at least it'll be the truth. You know, not everything is all roses and sunshine. Sometimes it's sticker bushes and, you know, chicken rashes. <laughs> so, you know, at least you're getting that information. You know, you had to get it along the way anyway. But it's just like so many of us, it touches my heart, you know, to know when you're going through awakening, you're trying to seek that knowledge to understand why am I going through these certain things. You know, I feel certain ways it's not normal. You know, it's just I look at my life and it felt like it really wasn't normal. And it's nothing about us as normal. <laughs> you know, we're very extraordinary creatures. And, you know, you're not supposed, you were born to not fit in and just, you know, more to stick out with. You know, people drawn towards you because of your light, your flame that you have to attract people with that positive aura you have around you. Even though you might have been that misfit, even though you might have been that troublemaker. Or, you know, just been the underdog or, you know, had that low self-esteem. But you're all, we're all have to experience all these hardcore gut riching things just to be able to mold ourselves into a stronger being you know because we have work to do you know we're rolling up our you know rolling up the sleeves because our hands are about to get dirty you know we're sitting here in the middle of a battlefield trying to figure out where the hell the daggone all the arrows are coming from but it's just like when you can be able to support, give yourself first that, that big support because you need it. Because it's just like with us being empaths, we send out so much energy throughout a daily basis. You're going to need that love for yourself. It's just that we have this bad habit of always sending love out for people and always going out to try to help people figure their problems out and try to save the day. But when it comes to ourselves, we don't know what the heck to do. So, you know, it's a good thing when you're knowing, you don't know fully the full extent of your path. You're not, you don't know all the knowledge, but it's just the fact is the universe is allowing you to be able to teach yourself these things, allow me to help you add that puzzle to your life each and every day. Being able to see the things that you weren't able to see before, you know, getting strength from places you really weren't able to f figure out where the heck they came from. You know, and experiencing things that we had to experience gave us strength. You know, it gave you that passion to know, okay, I might not be able to see myself out of this situation, but I'm going to see myself into this situation. You know, and you can just keep pushing yourself and keep pushing yourself and allowing yourself to know these things that you need to know, even when they're not something that you really truly want to hear. But there's things that we have to know about ourselves whether it's something that we're comfortable with or not you're at least blessed enough to have that knowledge that you have
So I hope you are able to get something out of this message. And, you know, this week is ending. So I hope everybody has a very blessed weekend. Pretty soon. Yes, when is it going to be Thursday? So, you know, I hope everybody has a blessed weekend. And like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. I love the chance to get to know you. Give me a thumbs up. Like and even share on your social media favorites. And go ahead and like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. So now as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are blessed, highly favored, and truly loved. And know there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. So much love and light to you. And many blessings are heading towards your way. Be safe. Know that you are always in light. Even when you don't feel like it, you're always in the dark. <laughs> but I hope y'all have a blessed week. Well, a blessed rest of your days. And I will see you on my next video. Peace. Be wild. Much love. Bye.